Gotta be not going too hard into it. Look at my tire marks from the last few times, man. Oh my god. Right into the rock wall. So when I stop seeing tire marks going into the rocks, I know I've passed my personal best, right? That's... Oh, yes. Link and cashback code in the description. What's going on everybody? Welcome back today guys to the channel. A set of course that so we're back here with some more mods on the PC. We got the motion rig hooked up, we got the full wheel out, and I figured we'd change it up a little bit and take delivery of a brand new Corvette C8, man. If you guys don't know, TJ Hunt, Stradman, uh, there's a couple others that have taken delivery of their C8s, and I was watching their video of TJ Hunt and Kelvin taking it, uh, driving it home. Really good video. If you guys missed that, definitely check that out. Just a good wholesome video, right? I mean, just right, he met up with Evan Shanks, long time reunion. I wanted to drive it in a set of course a long story short so here we are today now i found a couple mods that i will be linking down below the first one is by phoenix 77 now not the car but the track itself now this is the los angeles canyons mod and uh, there's a lot of them on here now i want to find out how to donate on here i'm going to try to leave um, a spot on there so that way you guys can get into all of these but for right now today i do believe we only have access to this track right here, which is the normal one. So we're gonna be driving this with the Corvette C8, which I have found again on another mod here. This one's coming from Nicholas DiVento. Uh, this can be found down below also in the description box. And I Googled it, and uh, the first video that ended up popping up was from a gentleman by the name of Unknown Sissinge. I will leave his channel down below for leaving everything accessible, right? It's nice when you go to a video and all the mods are on the page, right? That's all I'm saying. Now we're gonna drive this for today. First ever mid-engine Corvette, and it's a 6.2 liter LT2 V8 with an eight-speed dual clutch transmission, man. This thing is going to rip. I didn't notice though that this mod gives us every single paint color that is offered by Corvette. Now I do believe a lot of these colors like this one right here is not available at the moment. I think it does take a little bit of time to get. So a lot of people didn't get that color. I think uh, Street Speed 717 wanted this and unfortunately couldn't get it in that color yet. So we're gonna drive it for today in a couple different colors. We're gonna start off the day though in our Arctic white. This is the same color that Tej got. What is this here, S1? Oh, with the cutoff. Oh, that's right. That's okay. We got two different models here. We got the roof off. I think I got to drive it with this color. Now, this color right here is a little bit weird. Accelerate yellow. And I, I don't know if these are accurate to the actual color of the car or, you know, the name of it. But, oh, look at that interior, though, man. That tan interior. I think I got to go for it. We're doing it with the rapid blue. We're taking delivery of our Corvette C8 for today. We're going to the canyons. We're going to drive around, have some fun once again. We got the motion rig hooked up. And if you guys didn't know, we do have uh, the Sparco set up here with the proper wheel, man. We got the flat top, flat bottom, exactly like in the C8. So it's going to be pretty fun today. Doesn't get much better than that, man. Next level motion rig, everything found down below. Thrustmaster links. Huge thank you guys for watching today. And of course, don't forget to slap that like button. Oh man, look at this. Now for whatever reason, this is a race. Now we're gonna just kinda not go right off the start and just drive it ourselves. And then once we get comfortable, we're gonna then try to compete. Well, of course, we gotta get to a dad joke of the day before we go any further. Our last episode on a set of course with the motion rig, uh, we had Paris Israel and he goes, dad joke, do you know the first French fries weren't actually cooked in France? They were cooked in Greece, man, right? That's that's so smart, man. I like that one. Huge thank you for leaving the dad jokes down below. Definitely do appreciate them. And we have a couple different custom cameras, too, that are actually super nice, man. This is a really well-done mod. I'm really happy that I found this one here on the page, so a huge thank you. Right? Look at them all. Oh, we got the pops going, too. Just to start off here, I want to uh, take off traction. We're going to put that back on in a second, but I just want to heat the tires up. Of course, see how this thing actually does drive. The fact that it's mid-engine, though. Oh, man. It feels so weird, but you can use the brakes as kind of a handbrake almost, because I don't believe that I have access to the handbrake on this. No. Okay. We have power, though, man. Holy shit. What is it? 460 horse almost, I think? Almost, uh... Put my first C8 right into the damn barricade, right into the damn barrier, whatever. Third gear. Let's see if I can run the wall with it. Right now, 
the chair has definitely turned down a hell of a lot more today. I didn't want it to be too aggressive, but I wanted to have that kind of realism factor of me actually driving a car. Oh, there we go. And we're going to leave with that. And we're going to go back in. Oh, yeah, it's an ugly view right there. I got to file that in a little bit. Dial it in. I remember eight gears, man. Absolutely wild. Now, in the video that I was watching with TJ Hunt, um, when they were driving this thing home, they were actually in limp mode because obviously it was, you know, breaking in the engine and the RPM was locked to about, I think, what was it, like four or five thousand. And I think as soon as he rolled over, uh, I think like two thousand miles or something like that, it uh, actually unlocked the car. So that was pretty cool to see. But oh man, this has so much power though. You can feel it even in the corners. I mean, even when he was trying to do the burnouts in the car and he just couldn't really get it to go. You could tell it had power. I mean, you could see the car launching up, but he just, I don't know what was going on with the computers or anything like that, but I will say this car would be so much more fun, though, if we had a proper six-speed transmission, right? That's all I'm saying. Now, do I still have traction off right now? I think I do. Am I driving dangerous? Ooh, I was, actually. Okay, let's just throw it on one here. Be safe. And it does look like we're going to get a little bit of a stretch of gears here. I don't want to let off too much. Oh, I stamped the brakes. No, yeah. Is that our first crash C8? Uh-huh. Oh, look at this view, man. It looks so good. Why does this car look so damn good right now? We got this view, too. This is a really nice view, I feel like. Top of the roof cam. Makes me feel like I'm actually there, okay. Now, I, I don't know if there's too much. What the hell? Was, oh, I took a screenshot, okay. Sorry. <laughs> really enjoying this car today. Huge thank you for the mods, right? Again, these aren't possible without the people modding it. What is this? We got traffic? Shit, hello. This guy's just damn enjoying the open roads with me here. I'd like to try and get to this eighth gear if possible. I know it's more for cruising, but we can max this thing out, man. Oh, we're close. We got seventh gear. Of course, always more scarier doing it on the hills. I'm trying to get a little toss on it, but remember, we do have traction off. I'm just trying to see what it's capable of. So good in the corners, but I'm great. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Oh, cops. Oh, that's not good. Yep, we're busted. Let me just pull on over there, sir. I'm coming over. Uh huh. Cop got his. I hit the wrong button. I was about to get the best shot right there with the cop, man. God, now I gotta go back. All right, here we go. Man, we're late to work right now, right? That's all I'm saying. Okay, well, hopefully. This thing just comes back next time, man. This thing doesn't want to come back, really, though. A little bit different if you haven't really drove an engine for a while, which I haven't. Look at that. As soon as you get back on the gas, man, it just, it sticks. Oh. Uh-huh. I told you, man. This thing is fun. Holy shit. Okay, man. I wish I would have got one of these. How come I didn't take delivery of one, right? Shit, man. Corvette, man. If you want to sponsor me, I appreciate it. I'll do daily videos in the car. Oh, my God. Yeah, sorry. I won't crash it, though, okay? I will not crash it. I Before, that's why it wasn't coming back. It's because I wasn't getting back on the gas. I was trying to just correct it and save it, but this is a totally different concept. You want to get back on it. A little bit nerve-wracking, but... Right? No! We hit that little lip! I would have had it. Oh, my God. We're going downhill now. Brace yourself. <laughs> Oh, no, we got to go restart session. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. We're completing this lap here, hopefully. Uh, hopefully is the keyword. Only one behind us. Oh, this is a big old convoy coming out of the canyons, man. How many do we have? Like 12 vets just cruising out? Obviously cruising and... Being with these guys are two totally different things. Hopefully I can actually stay with them. And right now it's not looking too good. So the difference is these guys are really using their brakes hard. And I'm just trying to be cruising out here. We got a lot of oversteer. We got this shit on the dam. Okay. We are 
I'm riding side by side right now with this guy almost. Really good speed coming out of that. Kind of just trying to watch the guy in front of me and just using him as a guide to pull me through these corners. Kind of like my own personal trainer right now, right? This is perfect. I'm getting lessons on the fly here on how to drive. Kind of. I need a lot of them, but we're out here, though. Ay, 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 ay. No, no, no. This wheel's definitely different to be using, though. I haven't used this wheel in so long, man. This is the uh, the Sparco P310 mod from Thrustmaster, and I've been using this for a little bit now. I think I've had this for, what, now? Months now, almost, and uh, it's a great wheel. Just I like to use it only when it's necessary because it does have those corners, right? It's a little bit interesting. Oh, shit, we're off-roading. In the C8, we're good, though, right? Uh-huh. It's about to get bumpy, baby Jesus, right, man? Damn, Ricky Bobby would definitely drive it after that shit. Now, the problem, though... That's a problem, too, but I was gonna say, I don't know where they're going. Oh, my. But what is nice, though, about the paddles is that you can use your left foot braking to a big advantage. It's faster. Oh, boy. a little bit scary. It's got to be not going too hard into it. Look at my tire marks from the last few times, man. Oh my god. Right into the rock wall. So when I stop seeing tire marks going into the rocks, I know I've passed my personal best, right? That's... Oh, yes. Not an easy thing to do. Especially on my TV setup, man. That's one of the biggest things that I want to change up is my TV settings. Or not my settings, right, but my TV in general. I want to maybe do a triple setup or just something maybe a little bit bigger and closer to me. I have the Next Level Racing uh, triple screen setup that I just am waiting to throw a nice set of TVs on. So, I don't know. If you guys know anything, let me know in the comment section down below. What would be a good triple setup? We are moving up this bin mound right now, man. Here we go. We're chugging. No, I looked at the map. It didn't look that bad. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I set a Corsa. You're making sure you're on the brakes at the same time, kind of. You don't lose it completely. It definitely will go. But this is definitely, I feel, something that would be cool to test on the game. And then if someone actually had a C8 to test it to see, you know, how this would differ, you know, compared to the two. See if they missed any interior stuff or anything like that. But I'm curious on how they had to detail everything, considering the fact... Right, that... Damn, why am I doing this? Putting some kilometers, though, or miles on my damn C8, though, right, man? Imagine this, though. Would be cool, there, you know, if there was a game that was really sim like that, where you got the car the same as, you know, launch date, and you, you know, could have the whole map to drive it around. Kilometers, right? I'm kind of talking like a test drive unlimited style, right? That was really cool back in the day. I just wish it was more polished and more sim feel to it. I think that'd be making a really cool game. But I mean, I think there are working on one. I'm not 100% sure, but a new test drive would be definitely something I would play. Man. Let me know if your thoughts down below. This thing has definitely been a lot of fun though today, man. Let me know your thoughts down below. All the links. Oh. <clears throat> That's how you total the C8 pretty fast. Can we even drive it still? Interesting. Okay. See we got, yeah. Oh, it does! The suspension's a little bit screwy though. Look at that. I can't even turn. Look at this mound though. What is this? This is sick. We're going for it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to sub that like button. And I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.